Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. A 42 year old woman gravida 2 para 2 come to the office for evaluation of pelvic pain. The patient menses are painful with heavy bleeding that require to change her tampon every hour during the first two days. She did not have painful menstrual period until a few years ago. The pelvic pain used to subside after menses but has become constant over the past few months and is unreliable by ibuprofen. Her menstrual cycle are regular, occur every 28 to 30 days and last for 4 days. She has not any dysuria, urinary frequency or constipation. The patient had a tubal ligation after her last delivery. She has not cervical. She has not had any cervical cancer screening within the past five years and is not sexually active. Temperature is 36, blood pressure is 120 by 70 and pulse is 78 per minute. Examination show a bogey uterus that is tender to palpation. Which of the following is which, which of the following additional finding most likely present in this patient? Exopatic cervical mass, large irregularly shaped uterus, mucopurulent cervical discharge, posterior cordial sex nodularity, symmetrically enlarged uterus, unilateral adenexal mass. So this patient is 42 year old woman. Uh, she came to the office for evaluation of chronic pelvic pain. The patient menses are painful with heavy bleeding and the uh, menses uh, are regular menses and does not have any uh, dysuria, urinary frequency or constipation. On examination of the uterus, uh, which show that the uterus is a bogey uterus and that is tender to palpation. So, these, uh, so based on this hint, the diagnosis of this question is adenomyosis. Adenomyosis. So in this question, they are asking about the which of the following additional finding is most likely present in this patient. So here the correct option is choice E, symmetrically enlarged uterus. Why the choice E is the correct one? Because adenomyosis in which the endometrial gland and stroma accumulate abnormally within the myometrium, uterine myometri, myometrium. Sign and symptom of adenomyosis include pelvic pain and heavy menstrual bleeding. On examination, the uterus is bogey, tender uterus. Adenomyosis typically occur in multiparous women aged more than 40 years. Workup for adenomyosis consists of pelvic ultrasonography and or MRI. A definitive diagnosis is made via histological after hysterectomy. And hysterectomy is the treatment option for patients who do not improve with conservative management, for example, oral contraceptive, progesterone releasing intrauterine devices. Come to the incorrect one, exopatic cervical mass. So exopatic cervical mass, which is a cervical cancer, may cause heavy vaginal bleeding. However, the bleeding is typically irregularly rather than cyclic as with menstruation. Choice B, large irregular shaped uterus. So large irregular shaped uh, uterus uh, most commonly occur in the patient with leomyometa uterii, which is also known as fibroid. Uh, so in fibroid, there is a heavy menstrual bleeding. Uh, the uterus is typically firm, not, bo not bogey and non-tender. Come to the choice C, mucopurulent cervical discharge. So patient, uh, so patient with pil uh, pelvic inflammatory disease uh, cause chronic pelvic pain and mucopurulent cervical discharge. I will explain the choice D and the choice F together because the, uh, these both are related with one another. So posterior duseg nodularity and unilateral adenexal masses. So posterior duseg nodularity and adenexal masses that is endometriosis can occur in women with endometriosis due to endometrial implant outside the uterus. Patient typically present with dysmenorrhea and chronic pelvic pain in younger women uh, aged uh, 25 to 35 years. So endometriosis does not cause a bogey uterus. I will show the, uh, the picture of the adenomyosis that how the adenomyosis look like. So this is the adenomyosis uh, we can see here that the adenomyosis glands uh, implant throughout the uterus. So that's why the, the uterus is symmetrically enlarged with heavy menstrual bleeding and, uh, and the, with heavy menstrual bleeding and the uterus is symmetrically enlarged with the uh, gland implant in the, my, uh, in the myometrium layer. Thank you.